Hi folks and welcome back to another video about Unity. Essentially in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to take an object from Posa and bring it into Unity and make it into a ragdoll. Now I've hit play but my project is huge and it takes a long time so this is what we're going to make when Unity eventually uh, oh, there it is, decides to come to life this guy will crumble on the floor and he was made in Posa. I've sort of given up on Daz 3D because it's so buggy and useless and produces very high poly models but the one thing it did do right was export an FPX properly and allow us to get our character more or less what we designed from Daz into Unity without any extra stages unfortunately Posa doesn't have the ability to export uh, FPX so that's what this small tutorial is right there he is he fell I'd like to play that again but um, like I say Unity is really dragging especially uh, I've got the game window open on the left here so that I don't so that I can still see the editor and that makes it slow down and I'm recording I've got poser going and stuff and my project is unnecessarily large 20 gigs or something um, which I'll strip down at some point but as you see here poser this is the basic poser guy I think a basic um, businessman or something has produced a really low poly um, pretty good looking model um, with no flaws and everything and he collapsed in a ragdoll as expected his face is not great and stuff but uh, you can probably do better than that but for me that's good enough so what I'm going to do now is uh, stop that I'm going to go into poser and uh, this guy was created uh, just by going to library poser pro mail oh maybe not uh, people uh, poser pro poser originals what was it anyway they're in here somewhere poser pro 2014 content I'm pretty sure ah I've only got hair selected that's why Oh, so there it is. It's inside uh, Poser Pro 2014 content, Poser 4 Low, and then uh, you get the generic businessman, woman, and a couple other people. And they're really good then because you, you spend ages trying to make something low poly. This guy is literally about 500 kilobytes, the file, as opposed to some of the 100 megabyte files I've been getting out of DAS, which actually have been slowing everything down. Anyway, make your guy. Go to export, collada, don't worry about that, click OK. Get rid of the ground, the lights, the cameras. Uh, I think I take away figure and just keep body. No, I just keep figure. Take away glow, goal center of mass or center of mass if they're there. And notice this nice hierarchy as you would expect. Uh, scale I'm putting up to 100 but it doesn't seem to make a difference because we have to convert it later after this and then, then the scale seems to be lost but I don't know put that at 100 or, or scale them up later in Unity so here's my man gen generic businessman .de that's a collider file 415 kilobytes absolutely crazy how small that is save that I'll just overwrite my other one that's done already now you need to use this tool over here which you can download from well I can't remember I just googled uh, Autodesk FPX converter and that's basically the first hit now it's got a few bugs this tool the refresh doesn't seem to work but if you go to tile then they redraw uh, if they've not been updated so this is the one I've already done I'm just going to remove that so all you need to do here is go to your game directory um, where you saved your DAE file uh, drag that in to there it's all ready it's already set up on FBX 2013 the out output format folder is actually the same one as the input and because it's got a different extension it won't matter so you could convert it already exists in my case because I just did that before the tutorial to make sure I could I would repeatedly do it so now it's made the FPX, which is an astounding 312 kilobytes. 
Now we go back to Unity and it imports it and swaps it automatically actually. And uh, like I say the scale has been oops, has been reset back down to the the small scale. Just wait for Unity to unlock. Looking very much forward to the uh, 64 bit one. So, right, this is actually coming from my previous example with this all done. So, I'm going to start again just to show you how it's done. Now, these are previous iterations I tried in different formats OBJ, 3DS, that's the DAE Collider one, and then this one, the FBX, as you can see at the bottom, is the one that it just made me. Now, you want to go to Rig and make a humanoid. This makes it compatible with um, Mechanim. Right, and then he hit apply, which I've already done. So you want to drag him in to here. Now he's absolutely tiny. Not sure why, uh, but let's just scale him up, and I'll just really ramp this up insanely far. This is a sort of moving walkway thing, so that gives me an idea of the scale I want. Probably about that. And I'm going to turn him around just so we can see him with the daylight on his face because he's actually facing the other way. And you can customize all the materials in that. I guess that's kind of outside the scope of this tutorial, but you can just change all his materials, which I actually have done. As you can see, it's remembering old ones. I made his clothes a bit darker and his, uh, his skin darker. So let's just flip him uh, what, 180 degrees on Y. So now he's looking at the sun. Not bad, not bad, low poly. Right, now the dreaded ragdoll, ragdoll creation, <clears throat> which I have been writing my own ragdoll thing to, to automate this, but uh, I was trying to get it to work for this video, but it's not working yet. So I'm going to use the official Unity one. And I only have three minutes left on my video, which is annoying, because uh, I, I don't think I've got my director's account anymore, but let's see if I can get through this. Right. <clears throat> now you get used to this, it's tedious as hell, but it gets easier. So for the root node, drag the hip. For the left hips, drag left thigh. For the right hips, drag right thigh. And this is just trial and error that I've worked this out. They're not named in the correct fashion, really, are they? Uh, left shin is um, the knee. And left foot is the left foot. Right shin is the right knee and right foot is the right foot yeah left arm is um, left shoulder left elbow is left forearm uh, right arm is right shoulder Right elbow is right forearm, middle spine is chest, and head is inside the neck, head. Yes, that's all done. I'm going to pause this while it creates... Oh no, it's automatic, so he's done. There's the ragdoll there. Now one thing normally I notice is his head is massive. Um, oh, his head is not massive here. It often is... And you have to scale down his head manually, I don't know why, quite a lot, and move its center too. Because uh, I'm running out of time, I'm not going to be able to show that, but I'm wondering if there's something strange going on. His head is absolutely huge or something. But uh, I'll pause this for a sec. Yes, so that is one problem from Poser. His head comes in massive. You have to adjust this sphere collider here, change the radius and change the center on Y, and do it by eye until it sort of matches his head. I've just done that while I paused it because I didn't really have the time, but you, you can get the idea. You just resize in a cylinder and put it on his head. I've hit play and he's about to fall. And that is how you take a guy from Poser to Unity, turn him into a ragdoll, and uh, get him to move and fall. Now, Unity is so slow. There he is. He's fell. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.